Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday the 17th. I'm Whoopsie Daisy Utes, owner of Sizzle and Slicks on Tips and Tricks website. But um, I'm here, I'm gonna do a quick video on request on how to use the new local mesh. This is with the new Firestorm 6 point, or 68380 release. Uh, it's really, really simple. So if you are a clothing creator or, um, you know, any kind of mesh creator and you want to test your mesh now, you don't have to go on the test grid anymore. Um, so all I've done here, this top is my Sizzle Akira top that I made a while back. And all I did was just wear it and rename it surrogate. You can name it whatever you want to name it. If you want to view your mesh that you've made in world this is this is the test mesh the test mesh the local mesh uh, you do have to do this so you can either make a new mesh for this specifically or you can just grab one of your old meshes that you already made and and um, rename it. it it really doesn't even matter it can be a box it can be anything it's but it's got to be an imported full perm mesh um, so here I am I've grabbed it I'm wearing it, it says surrogate all I got to do is go up to build there's a new um, a new button here. It says local mesh. I'm gonna click on it. Oh, let me let me delete that. Let me remove that. That was from a prior. So I'm going to go look into my files. Where is that that I made? And it's right here. This is a bodysuit that I made yesterday. It's definitely a work in progress. Kind of looks like crap, but <laughs> I'm just showing you how to make this work. And I'll all I'll do now is is hit apply. And I'm wearing the bodysuit. So I can, you know, stand here and critique my work here and, you know, make changes to it or whatever. Um, and then, you know, bring in and reactivate a new mesh uh, after I've made my, you know, corrections or whatever. Um, also, if you don't want to, you know, if you're not a creator of rig mesh, and you just want to see what the item looks like in world, you can do the same thing. Just go build, local mesh, find your mesh. You know, I'll just re-add re it here. You know, here it is. And I'm gonna res it this time. And it'll pop up with your build box, and then you just click the ground or whatever, and it'll come in world. It comes in with like the prim box or whatever. Um, good lord, get over here texture so I don't know where that thing is going okay anyway um, so but you can texture it you can color it you know just the same as you would do um, on the test grid and voila you don't have to go to the test grid anymore you can just stand on the main grid do your thing um, so that's really all I have today not really a greatly put together video or anything for you but um, it's just a quick thing to show you how to uh, use the new local mesh feature. It took me a second to do it, so I thought I'd... All right, the back end trailed out of that last video that I was making, but I was just saying, I just was making a quick video for y'all to show you how to bring in um, local mesh on the new Firestorm viewer. So if you got any questions, you can feel free to hit me up. Again, y'all, I am not an expert. I don't have all the answers. I might not be able to help you at all. Um, also kind of busy too, but, um, give it a shot for yourself and, you know, see if you can, can do it or whatever. I'm really excited. Um, this is a great movement forward for Second Life. I'm very happy. I've been creating since <laughs> I think I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning creating and I got right back up in the morning and went right back to it again. This is very, uh, a very much easier workflow. All right, y'all. Bye. Taco Tuesday. <laughs>